Okay, what about exponential functions? fx equals to 2 to the power of x, for example, where x is in the power. So this is a very famous graph where it looks like this. So it cuts the y-axis at, at 1 because when x is 0, anything to the power of 0 is 1. And the value increases exponentially. When x increases, your fx will increase much more. So this is the kind of graph that you want to see in your bank account. Now when x is a negative value, fx is still positive. So for example, if x is 0 0.5, say fx is equals to you know 2 to the power of half this will be a number that is less than 1 so this is square root of 2 so you have 1.4 and then the number gets smaller and smaller as x gets smaller and smaller but you will never reach this point so I'm going to draw on the same graph some other function that is similar so as to compare what it looks like. So when fx is 3 over 2 to the power of x, a number that is less than 2, your whole graph will be gentler. So it will look something like that, a more gentle kind of graph. Now what happens if you have f x equals to half x, a number that is smaller than 1. So this is also equals to 2 to the power of minus 1 x. So it's also equals to 2 to the power minus x. So if you remember right at the start of this lesson, I told you that if the minus, if there's a minus sign in front of the x inside the function, gx is equals to f minus x. All you need to do is to reflect about the y-axis. So your graph will look exactly the same as this equal colored line, but it's from the other side. It's reflected. So something like this. Oops, it's not really nicely drawn, but you get the idea. Okay, a couple of other interesting functions, for example, the ln function. So, for those of you who do not know what a ln function is, I'm going to ask you this question. 2 to the power of what gives me 3? Now, you may not know the answer, but this is certainly a valid question. What is this? What is the question mark? 2 to the power of what number gives you 3? You know that it's not 2. It's smaller than 2 because 2 to the power of 2 gives you 4. You know that it's, it's bigger than 1. So it's between 1 and 2. But how, how do you get the exact number? There are these things called the logarithm functions. And the way to rewrite this into a straight line, you know, how a mathematical expression should look like, will be like that. So log 2, 3. So this statement and this statement is the exact same thing. This reads log base 2, 3. It also reads 2 to the power of what gives you 3. So now let's say we have a function fx equals to log of some number x. Now plotting this will look like that. Where this is fx and this is x. So this is the log function. So it intersects the x-axis at 1. So it's like asking 2 to the power of what gives you 1. Or in this case, 10 to the power of what gives you 1. So it's 0. So if your function is a ln function, so ln is actually the log of Euler's number. And if I were to plot it on the graph, it will be a slightly steeper graph. Let's talk about the modulus function. So say you have gx is equals to fx 
but you want to modulus it. So what this means is that you only want the positive parts. So if fx looks like this, now this is fx, gx will be something like that. So you just reflect the negative parts. So this and this will be gx. That means you don't want any negative values. So if you have a function fx equals to sine of x, and if you were to plot gx equals to the modulus of sine x, let's see what this looks like. So fx will look like this, something like this. Now gx will be this, you want this part, and over here you want to reflect it. So your function will look like this.